As the summer drags on, we ran into a little bit of a problem. When we built our house, we built this pond right beside it and we used a bunch of the dirt to build the pad side up and just to kind of raise the area up a little bit. But when we built this pond, we knew it didn't have a very large drainage area, but we thought it would rain enough to keep it full. Well, we've had a really dry summer this year and that's where we're starting to run into problems. Because the weather's been so dry and we're about 10 to 12 inches behind on our annual rainfall, our pond is getting dangerously low. Now, normally I wouldn't worry about it, but last year we stocked this pond with fish and uh, we don't want to get so low where the fish's health starts being compromised. And so, because we don't have a whole lot of drainage area around this pond, it doesn't catch a lot of water. And so, because of that, it's just starting to go dry. Now, one of the solutions we're gonna have to give it more water and give it more water directly is that we're gonna start diverting rainfall off the roofs of our outbuildings, including our house, and then send that water straight into the pond. Now, overall, this pond has about an acre and a half uh, drainage area. And I know that because you can go on a software program like Google Maps or some other sort of uh, map measuring software and I can measure the perimeter of the drainage area of this pond and I can calculate how much water when it rains falls into that. But a lot of that water ends up soaking up, especially when it's dry, a lot of that water will end up soaking into the ground and so it's gonna take forever to get any runoff. Well, we can get instant runoff off our outbuildings here on the farm and be able to put that water directly into the pond itself. Now my solution to catching more water off the roof is pretty straightforward. Normally when it rains, this water runs off the roof and it runs down into the yard and it just kind of makes its way out into the pasture. Now the pasture is getting rained on too, the yard's getting rained on, so really that water to me is just excess water that's just running out across the landscape. So my solution is we're gonna end up putting underground drainage pipes from the gutters, sending them downhill and that way the water off the roof will go straight into the pond. Now, right now I've got this pipe ran across the ground, but as soon as we get a little bit of rainfall and the ground softens up some, I'm gonna either go rent an excavator or hire someone to come over here and trench these out so I can run all this pipe underground. And once we get it underground, you'll never know it's here. But for today, because we know we've got rain coming on the way and I just wanna experiment with the fall, I've attached this piping temporarily to our downspouts just to catch a little bit of rainfall and make sure it goes where it needs to go when it rains. Now you may be wondering how much water can I possibly get from our roof? Well, it's a lot more than what you think. And so the formula is pretty simple. The first thing you've got to do is get the square footage of your, of your roof. Now you can do that in two ways. You can use a land wheel and just measure on the ground and get a rough estimate, or you can use a mapping software online and be able to map the, the size of your roof using a system like that. And once you've got your total square footage of your roof, like in this case, we're gonna end up capturing 3,500 square feet of roof, uh, both on the house and then one side of the shop. And once we have the total square footage of the roof, then we can do a simple calculation. And that calculation is multiply the total square footage times 0.625. And so in other words, scientists have calculated that for every thousand square feet of surface area, an inch of rain that falls on it, that generates 625 gallons of water. So to make the math easy, we can take our total square footage times 0.625, and that'll give us a pretty good estimation of every inch of rain we get on top of a roof, how much water is gonna run off that roof. Now, if we use our calculator, we know that our roof that we've already measured on the shop is 28 by 40. That's 1,120 square feet. I've already measured my house roof, and that's gonna give me about another 2,800 square feet of space. So I'm, I'm gonna capture about 3,920 square feet of roof surface every time it rains. Now I'm gonna multiply that times 6.625. And so that means for every inch of rain I get, these roofs are gonna produce an additional 2,450 gallons of water straight into the pond. Again, this water's not gonna run out into the gutters and then run over this, the landscape. We're gonna put it straight into the pond every time it rains. Now a typical year, we get about 40 inches of rain around here. So you can see every year just off the roofs and doing a simple modification, we'll pick up another 98,000 gallons of water straight into the pond. And so ultimately, because we're putting 98,000 gallons of water straight into the pond, I think that'll help supplement it over time. And to do that, here's my solution. Now this is just roughed in now. The ground's been so dry and so hard this summer, we really haven't taken time 
to, to try to dig this out yet. But today, because we've got rain on the way, I'm going to experiment and just see how much water we get based on the natural fall of the landscape around this. And so what I've done is I've taken my drain pipe that I'll eventually put underground and then I've ran it right across the top of the ground. So out of curiosity, one of the things I've done is I measured the drainage area of our pond that's already here. So I know it's about an acre and a half area that it drains straight into the pond. It's not a lot, but at least it catches some water. Uh, and then when I do the math, I know out of that acre and a half of surface area that catches rainfall every time it rains an inch, that's about 41,000 gallons of water that's going to go straight into the pond. Now, I'm, we're about three feet low now, so it's going to take a lot of water to fill this up. But because we already catch a... a we already catch 41,000 gallons anyway, but a lot of that soaks into the ground when it rains. But when we when we gutter the house and then one side of this shop and put it straight into the pond, I think it's gonna make a big difference in helping keep our pond topped off all year round. Now, catching rainfall is pretty easy, but it's, it's different in some states here in Texas. We can legally do it, some states you can't. So check your local municipality rules or your local county rules and see what they recommend on whether or not you can catch rainfall. But if you can catch rainfall, it's a cheap and easy and free source of rainfall. All you gotta do is put the infrastructure in to divert the rainfall where you want it to go.